Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Best Friends. Today's memory verse is from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 3. It says, Jonathan loved David as himself. The message for today's story is true friends love each other. Who is your best friend? What do you like to do together? David and Jonathan were best friends who loved each other. King Saul sent for David. Come and live in the palace. I want you to work for me and become a soldier, the king said. So David moved to the king's beautiful palace. David soon met King Saul's oldest son, Jonathan. David and Jonathan liked each other and became best friends. Let's go shoot arrows, Jonathan would often call to David. Let's go ride horses, David would often say to Jonathan. The people of Israel grew to love David too. And that made King Saul think that the people loved David more than they loved him. And King Saul became so angry that he tried to kill David. Your father is trying to kill me, David told his friend Jonathan. That can't be true, Jonathan exclaimed. But it is, David insisted. Soon a festival will begin and the king will expect me to be there. I will go see my brothers. Two days after the festival, I will return and hide in the field. When your father sees that I am not at the festival dinner, tell him that I went to visit my family. If he gets very upset, you will know that he is trying to kill me. All right, Jonathan answered. Hide by the stone pile in the field. If my father is really trying to hurt you, I will tell you. Here's my plan. I will shoot arrows over by the stone pile. Then I will send my servant boy to get the arrows, Jonathan said. If I shout to the boy and say, go farther, the arrows are ahead of you. Then you will know that my father really does want to kill you and you need to run away to be safe. When King Saul sat down at the festival dinner that day, he saw that David's chair was empty, but he didn't say anything. The next day at dinner time, the king saw that David's chair was still empty. He turned to Jonathan and said, Where is David? David went to visit his family during the festival, Jonathan answered. King Saul's face turned red with anger. Don't you think that I know you want David to be king, he screamed. Go get David so I can kill him. Jonathan knew then that his father really wanted to do such a terrible thing. The next morning, Jonathan went to the field. He took out an arrow, aimed it near the stone pile, and shot it. Jonathan's servant boy ran to find the arrow. Run farther, Jonathan called loudly. The arrow is ahead of you. When the boy came back, Jonathan sent him back to town. Then he and David said goodbye. We may not be able to see each other for a while, Jonathan said, but we will still be friends, he promised. We will be friends forever, said David. And they were. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net.